I found this beautiful example. This is a house behind the roof designed by Super Helix Studio. And I think that a lot of architects are thinking that uh, this is very hard or even impossible to create this in Revit. And please keep in mind that you don't need to be a pro to be able to do this in Revit. Actually, we're just understanding a basic Revit principles and if you watch this tutorial from beginning till the end, you will be able to do that even if you're a beginner. And just before I move to Revit, I would like to inform you that we have over 4 hours of free Revit training and you can find the access link in the video description. Okay, in Revit, I will just go to create a roof by footprint. We can make it on a second level, it doesn't matter. And I will just make it something like this. So let's say that it has 12 meters by 4.5. Those three sides, we don't need to have a slope while this one we can make on let's say 60 degrees for example so in 3d you see how it look like and we can here just turn off annotation categories and i can just open maybe this side plan so we see everything and let's create a section here so now in a section I'm just going to create a reference plane which will be aligned with the bottom side of the roof. We'll name it as 01. And then I need to go here to the insert and I'm going to load Autodesk family. So we'll go to the structural framing and I can load, for example, this, this wooden beam. So go to structure tab beam and then i'm going to edit type so this one is going to be let's say 120 by 200 millimeters so here comes our beam so what we have to do now is to create a beam system so the beam system could have a fixed distance let's say 900 distance we will use our beam 120 by 200 millimeters and we can set the work plane for reference plane 01. Take the rectangle and just make it like this. And then you have to create the beam direction. Or if you just make it like this, it will look like this. And if you would like to adjust it, just go to edit boundary. And then you can also additionally create the beam direction so i will go from here and then you see 45 degrees so what we have to do more is also to go and create one more beam system but with a different direction so 45 from here so you see how it look like what we can do right now, we can just go here and open our side view. Turn on medium and then here I'm going to create two more reference planes. So here and here and then from section I actually need to cut this it's pretty important this to cut sections so now you see them so right now what i'm gonna do will be to create a reference plane here which goes to here and if i go to view and create tiles view you see we have a 3d view here so now from section i will just Go to modify, take cut, and then I will start cutting. Actually, sorry, before I start cutting, I will just move our section to the bottom, extend this one, and then I will start cutting our beams from our reference plane. And for example, if you would like to have better visibility of your reference plane, you can select it. Just hover the mouse, press tap, tap a couple of times and then you can extend it. So maybe it's going to be easier for you to pick it that way. So just cut.
and when you are done with it you can just select those pieces we don't need and then unpin and delete and repeat the same thing to the bottom so create a reference plane from here to this intersection then if you want you can just extend it and again just use the cut tool and start cutting so this part is done delete this but now comes a tricky part so how we can make cut on those slopey sides so to be able to do this, you need to understand the basic principles of Revit. And you need to understand that if you would like to see the datum element in a view, datum elements like reference planes, levels and grids, they need to be perpendicular to that view. So how we can make it? First of all, we need to create a section, inner section. Then I'm just going to make it like this. Then I'm going to select that section and I'm going to rotate that section for 60 degrees because we have 60 degrees here. And as you can see that the section is now perpendicular to our roof and perpendicular to actually this reference plane. And if I open this section, you will see how this look like. And what we can also do here, I can just go to the side plan I will open the side view and again I am going to create a few more reference planes maybe to here and then to here and if we go to section 4 you see that we see them right now and in a section 4 now I can just create two more reference planes so one goes to here And then, just watch, I will take a cut tool and then I will start cutting. So you see how it looks like. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. RP is a shortcut for the reference plane. Take a cut tool and just do the things, just cut. So you see how our roof look like. I really hope that you like it. It's pretty clear. It's pretty nice and you had a control and as i said as i promised you don't need to be a pro to be able to create this in revit and if you would like to know more about uh, creating groups in revit we created a playlist for it so just watch it and if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments under the video